Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kutuzov, the newest ship to return for Global XP. Uh, just so you know the commander we are running, we're currently running Nikolai Kuznetsov. Uh, this ship, all about starting those fires, and you're going to see just that as, as we play this game. Uh, what the strategy is here is moving to be use use the cover that we can in there to project power across the map, start the fires. This is very much like Greece. We're over here on trap. Uh, B spawn on, on, on trap is very much just like the B spawn on Greece. Uh, I think you can absolutely move in a crew. You can move in some larger ships that you usually wouldn't play so forward uh, into this area just because of the amount of cover that is available there. And uh, well, Kutuzov, if you don't know about its little party trip, trick about uh what it does what makes it so special can provide its own cover in the form of smoke unique for the russian cruisers it has its own smoke screen that it can deploy which is absolutely a godsend as you can see we are taking some major fire as we come in to the area uh we, we're starting to take this hit so we're gonna go ahead and deploy the smoke once now that we're into the cap that's exactly where we wanted to be now that we're in that that we're going to be able to to try to get some fire off. Of course, people did already kind of know where we were, so there is going to be plenty of accurate fire. And uh, well, it is a Russian cruiser, so you are looking at a nice tall citadel that is more than happy to be struck by incoming rounds, especially when they come from a 90 degree angle. So uh, that's kind of the idea of Kutuzov. Personally, uh, I was very surprised for it to return. Uh, I did not expect it to be coming back. This was a ship that I missed out campaign-wise. Uh, so for it to return, I was super thrilled. As you can see, we kind of dance in and out. We we unfortunately do leave the circle here. We're trying to reposition in the smoke because while we could go dark uh, and hide our where we're firing from, I want to get these perma fires off. I want to get some damage. As you can see, we're already up to four fires uh, relatively shortly in. And... Kutuzov is an absolutely nasty fire setter. Uh, with our current build, we have a 17% chance to set fire, which is, well, it's nasty. You get, you get double fires like that, usually multiple times in a, in a round. So you can expect double digit fires by the end of a match if you can last, if you can go the distance with this ship. Republic is like, nah, I'm out of here. He, he dropped spot, that's fine by us. We're going to try to chill right at the edge of our smoke right here. Uh, just trying to see if we can hit anyone else, just because you, you never know. We do only have seven seconds of smoke left, and we will need to be on the move as soon as this smoke does depart. Uh, we do have a good two minutes until we can smoke again, so it's time for us to try to get into cover. This mines, don't think he knew we were here. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit him with some 150, which is going to be less than effective as far as... AG goes, but we'll flip over to AP, get a salvo or two, and we do get one fire on him, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to kind of use this, try to bide our time while we're in the center spawn right here, or the center, center cap point, uh, and start, like I said earlier, projecting the power across the map. As you can see, uh, if you look at our max firing range, there is only one ship, and probably their aircraft carrier, which we cannot hit. Everyone else, we have the range to hit. So if we play this smart, we can absolutely do some relatively disgusting damage to the enemy. And that's exactly our current plan. Uh, and we're trying, trying to figure out how we can best do this. It does look like our friends over in A are the ones who need the support. Looking at the minimap, we really only have, what, two assets over there anymore. It looks like the carrier is kind of over there. We have a cruiser and we have a battleship. Um, so it does look like they need the help the most. So what we're going to try to do, uh, we have this relatively weak Bismarck. We're going to try to pie out this corner. Of course, we have that nice sloping ledge right there that we can easily get our not so arcing shells over. That is one of the downsides to a Russian, to Russian uh, cruisers. They have very good, oh, it's not really a downside, but it is a downside in this situation. Basically very flat, flat firing arcs. Don't really have the, the arc to get over a lot of cover. So you do have to play them in a interesting way. Get a nice double fire in Grosso Kunf on the, uh, was that GK? Or no, it wasn't Grosso Kunf. It's the tier eight on Frederick the Gross. Uh, we get a nice double fire there. We're kind of checking to see who we can bully here. Um, we see that rune is out in open water. F, uh, the Frederick did get out of our kind of range. So we're trying to see 
who we can bully. Rune, not really paying attention to us. So uh, we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, we'll, we'll absolutely start kind of bullying him here, um, knowing full well that he probably won't be able to do much about it. And then uh, we do also have our smoke. So if necessary, uh, if we do start to get spotted, we can go ahead and pop the smoke and be safe while we are in this gap, especially because we now have this broadside Republic. And as we engage this Replique, Republic and we continue just to spam fire, let's, let's talk about Kutuzov. Is it worth the 750,000 global XP? Um, I, one, I think it's a great ship. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it does definitely bring something unique to the, uh, to the cruisers, to the uh, Russian cruisers that we don't currently have, right? This is, this is a unique experience within the Russian cruisers. Um, is it worth 750,000 global XP? Absolutely. Uh, would it be my first pick right now? I think it's up there. Um, I don't know if, if, if it would be my number one pick, especially since we have the ghost of Elbing out there. I do have a feeling we're, we're, we're not going to see Elbing return for probably another year, but we'll, we will always have that ghost kind of hanging over us for until it returns we know it's coming back for global xp and do do i want to risk as a person not having enough global xp when that ship returns no because i really really enjoyed elbing so i wouldn't pick up kuzov immediately but if you're someone who either a doesn't care doesn't care about elbing um and likes cruiser play i think kuzov is a is a fun one uh, you don't have a radar, but you do get the smoke and the sonar, which is absolutely nice. We can see we also have pretty decent torpedoes, or I should say decent torpedoes for a Russian ship, because uh, those those torpedoes do have a range of, I believe, eight kilometers, which, you know, is decent for, uh, for the Russian boats, who usually have uh, very tiny ones. Also, we are so lucky to have survived this hit right here. Um, thank God we're going to go ahead and duck behind this cover once again. Um, but yeah, I think Kutuzov, ton, tons of fun ship. We get the Witherer, nice. <laughs> also, we're up to 18 fires, which is beautiful. Uh, I think Kutuzov, very much a, a ship that uh, plays a little bit differently. You know, it kind of feels like a Chapayev uh, with smoke. But I think the smoke does really help out. Mind you, it is, it is a very fire, like it's a, a ship based about being in cover, about based around just trying to get the hits off, trying to get the fire started. It is an HE spammer. That's not the kind of role you like to play. You may not enjoy playing this, but I think, uh, especially this update, we have a couple of ships. This and Belfast uh, kind of came back because Belfast has the buff. And if I was forced to choose between one of those two ships, I think uh, I think Kutuzov is definitely the choice that I would go with between the two because uh, Belfast, even with the buffs, We'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, guys, Kutuzov, fun ship. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We didn't get uh, any, we got one kill, but we did end up at top of the scoreboard. Guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.